morning everybody. Just got my brand new Warrior G4 custom set. I'm gonna unbox it, gonna compare it to my old stuff, and give you a little bit of a tour of the apartment I'm living in. Because I just finished moving halfway across the continent. So gonna check it out. So the all white demo stuff I had before, obviously it was demo stuff, it was demo gear, the exact same stuff as what I have right now. Different colors. So there's only four week turnaround time. So every set of uh, G4 stuff comes with some uh, knee pads. Probably not going to use them. I've, I've tried other knee pads in the past, but just didn't like them, so I'm probably going to stick with my, my Bowers, but probably post these up on Silent Swap if anybody wants to take them off me. We'll save the pads for last, that's the main attraction. The glove, it is completely stock. It's a one-piece glove, single key, scalier's pocket. Yeah, like I said, one piece. Big skillet's pocket, single T. Uh, a lot of guys seen on the custom sets to be going with the double T. I just like the single. I just find the puck better response, better feel with the single T. All blue, white cuff. I wanted like this part to be blue, but Warrior couldn't do that, so I just had to go with like the, the wrist cuff portion being white. Uh, white T bar, white T uh, on the back if you look. Just the white RGT4, my last name. Uh, one thing I really like about the uh, uh, the glove from the demo stuff is that everything completely opens up and they have removable palms. So if you didn't know, you can take the palm out, start to finish, everything, and wash it. That way uh, stuff doesn't smell absolutely horrible. So you got all these straps and all the Velcro straps and tabs in here. You just undo them and you take the palm out and you can wash them. You can change the palm degree too. Um, we talk, I talked about that with Kirk Allen, the Warrior Rep, in the G4 I guess, review video back in the spring when I was demoing a set. Um, so you can get a, a 45, 75, and a 90 degree break uh, angle with the gloves. So the glove doesn't change at all, but the palms do. Um, so that's one nice thing. Um, I've really been enjoying the glove though. I'm not a big one piece fan, um, but getting a lot more used to it. So, next up, we got the blocker. And again, the blocker stock, obviously full right. Um, the all, mostly all blue color scheme. So you see here, you got a bunch of tabs for the. Uh, for the cuff and for the wrist strap. So I've been lacing the cuff through the second one that comes stock, a little bit more wrist mobility when I got my hand in the glove. To find like when it's a lot higher up, you get less mobility. Aside from that, everything's stock. Same thing, the palm completely comes out so you can wash it. And now the pads. And this is what I've been really excited about. So the gloves and stuff are cool. With the pads, the first off the air slide in the bottom. So everybody talks about Bauer being the best sliding pad in the market. Bauer's got their Cortex skin, CCM has their speed skin, everybody's getting the new materials to improve slide uh, slideability. But there's little cutouts, pieces missing on the um, slide surface and the uh, the knee stacks. And basically the whole concept behind it is obviously less material, slides faster, less friction with the ice, and it makes a world of a difference. I'd say these slide probably just as good Maybe even a little better than the 1S's. That was just my personal two cents. And a warrior says that when the ice gets really chewed up, they still slide. I don't care what pad you're using. When the ice is ridiculously chewed up, when like for our college practices, when we got 40 guys on the ice um, for two hours, nothing's gonna help with the choppy ice. But uh, it does make a difference nonetheless. One thing you'll notice here on the pad, um, so to my knowledge, nobody at retail has this. Um, only Shannon Zavados with the uh, Team Canada that got this. So I got a custom VIU logo put in the roll. Um, nobody else has done that before. Um, aside from that, pads are 36 plus one stock. I'll probably end up removing the plastic uh, clip and then just wrap this down there and remove the stack. I've been really comfortable with that so far. Um, as far as the strapping leg channel goes, I really like this look. See, like, I get my pads on in 30 seconds. I don't use a boot strap, so I'll end up taking this out. The, the toe clip, first off, they work great for carrying your pads. Um, on top of that, just lace it through your top skate hole, clip it on, good to go. I've actually, these are probably my personal favorite um, toe ties that I've used. They, they put a little more stress on the ankles, which I'm not a big fan of, but the, the amount of control I have, my, my reverse VH and butterfly, I like a lot more. But I wanted the um, the, the side wing flap cut off or taken off. I, I personally think it looks kind of dumb. When you're on the post, standing up or whatever, a guy fires a shot at the pad. It's actually making a big difference in keeping pucks out, so I might just leave that on. Uh, that's the one pad. Obviously, got two in a set. So that's a set. 
sharp looking colors, I'd say. One thing you'll notice is they're the exact same pad. Both are just stock uh, Warrior original G4 equipment. Obviously the graphics are a lot different, so the Warrior said you can get just a stock graphic, which is what they have here, or you can get same G4 pad with a retro graphic. Nothing changes, just the visual makeup. Um, I like the retro look a little bit better. Wasn't really a fan of the stock graphic, although there are a couple graphics that are kind of coming out now online that are looking pretty nice. Really excited to get them on the ice, and uh, so the next footage you're going to see is just some on ice from one of our practices. Uh, we skated for about two hours of our practice, so lots of saves going to be made to break these in, hopefully. I hope you enjoy the on ice footage. Now, a brief stoppage in your normally scheduled YouTube programming from a word from our sponsors. What am I selling you this week? It's the folks over at Herbstrong that have this beautiful 100 milliliter full spectrum recovery cream. Great for sore muscles, joints, and injuries after a long, hard day at practice or working out. Let's take a look what's inside. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Trav, what qualifies you to be selling me such a high quality, sophisticated product? Do you have a diploma? Do you have a degree? Maybe a PhD? Well, my friends, allow me to be the first to tell you I do not have a PhD. But chances are you're probably watching on the internet. If I know anything about selling you stuff on your net, it's that I'm one of the only 500 guys to sell you something today. Unlike the body shaping quiz ad that you saw today earlier on your social media platforms of choice, I genuinely believe in this product. And not because I'm getting paid an absurd amount of money to endorse a product I've never used before. With all that in mind. Thank you to our sponsors for the product. Back to your normally scheduled YouTube program. But don't worry, I'm gonna sell you something again later on in the video. Cool, first ice time with the Warrior G4s. Adjust the straps back to where my demos were. My demo stuff was already used before me. This stuff I gotta break in from scratch. I don't know if I like it. First time my crew ever going dark face though. It's definitely different. Oh man, this ice gets chewed up two hours. Almost impossible to slide it after. Although the new air slide's supposed to fix that in the Warrior G4s, but. I don't know there's really anything you can do to fix really chopped up crease. Pull my rebounds a bit. One problem I have my my Brian's, my checkerboard is they're getting way too soft and they're having way too much torsional flex, like twisting, just over rotating, under rotating. Like these are like stiff as a brick. Like great slidability. And I feel like I say this every time I get a new product, but I feel like these are the best, best gear in the market. But like I said, every time I try something new, I feel that way, so. Inspired by the amount of equipment I have here, everything on sidelinespot.com is free. Limited time offer only. You go to sidelinespot.com, spend some money, but you can buy anything you want. Like I said, it's free, but I might be lying. So I will see you next week.